I've just turned a one pound present into a 40 pound present. What else? Welcome to Model Kitchen. I'm Spency, as you know, I hope. Um, so today, um, slightly food related, um, not quite cooking, but it's still in my kitchen, so it counts as one kitchen. Um, when I have people over, or you have people over, it's quite nice to have um, some canopies ready when they come around, or you might do a sharing platter uh, of cheeses, or of um, cold meats, anti-pasty, something like that. So it's always nice to have um, some different platters available that you can serve out to people. Um, and I got these from two different people as gifts. Um, Thank you, I do appreciate them. I've got a square slate and a circular slate, but as you can see, um, they're just quite plain, which is fine. We can spruce them up. Um, so I've got some gold spray paint. The black and the gold is going to look really good. And then even though it's from my bathroom, I just need a little bit of white. I'm going to do some white lines, gold and black and white. It's going to look really Nordic, really chic, um, and it'll go for any occasion use them Halloween, Christmas, it's not too uh, detailed. And then I've got uh, a couple of different blues, so um, you know that could look nice and creative as well. So I actually started this one and then I wanted to film what I was doing. So very simply just mask and tape down the middle and then I've sprayed one side. Um, but I want to add on some more lines onto that so you can place food in different areas or you can just have a nice pattern to look at. But all of these are going to be different by the end of the video. So if you have any of these, um, you want to spruce them up or uh, you pop to like, I've seen them in Wilkinson's. Um, it's a set of four. I guess they're coasters, but I use them for serving food. Or dev. Or if you were doing sort of like a Spanish night or Mexican night, you can have it all with uh, different sharing things. So yeah, so lay them out and need some mask and tape to have here. And yeah, I'm gonna speed this bit up, but just get creative and pop some tape on and you'll be doing it in different sections. So if you're doing one gold line, let that dry. You can take off the mask and tape, do another line. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna lay these out and then I'm not really sure of a certain plan, but I'm just gonna have a play and I'm sure it's gonna look amazing. Wish me luck. So I started doing <laughs> individual stripes um, and I thought that's just not creative enough. I'm sure um, eventually it's going to look good with all like the other ones, uh, but this is a more complicated one just to make sure um, all the bits are down so the paint doesn't run into it, but this is all going to be black and gold in about five minutes. So I'll start with that one. I'm just using a metallic gold shimmer spray from Paint Factory. Like I say, I've got the door open just to make sure the place is ventilated, you're not breathing it in. Notice it's leaking a little bit, um, so I may as well use the spots as part of the pattern. This one's looking excellent. Oh, I can't wait to take the paper off and see that one. Also this one's dry. Wow, oh my goodness. This one's quite Christmassy actually. Hey, hey, look at that. I've just turned a one pound <laughs> present into a 40 pound present. Look at this. Can you see? Imagine with some fruit or cheese. Look at this, I am going to put one more stripe for white, although it does look wonderful like that. So there they are, the finished product, ready for some delicious food. Oh, 
Anyone? 